Hey guys, let's talk about the Ace family losing their home, not because the bank took it from them. Back when they were auctioning their house and nobody wanted to buy their house, so it ended up going to the bank until the bank owned the house and we thought they were going to get evicted sometime, right? Well, girl, I watched Isla Vaughn's video that he posted saying that the Ace family's house got sold and oh my god if you do not watch his videos i love his work guys i hope to one day become as good as him i love every video he puts out he really does his job well done and yeah go check him out but anyways thanks to him he even posted the podcast of the channel talking about the ace family selling their home so according to this podcast channel called tmg podcast highlights that guy that's doing the video i think he's the main one from the channel is saying that he is friends with the person that bought the ace family's home what? I'm, I'm, dude, I'm, I know the guy who bought it. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it was just weird coincidence. I was with him last night, and he was like... Does he get both? He was like, yeah, we we, uh, we just bought this, like, really, I don't know, like, problematic, like, YouTuber. And I was like, who? Who's, which house? And he said, we bought a problematic house. And I was like, what house? And he's like, I don't know, some YouTuber, he did some boxing thing. And I was like, Austin McBroom. And he was like, yeah, yeah, crazy. They got taken for a ride when they built it. Spent way too much money on it. And now, it's in this area that... So as you've seen in the video, it appears that he bought the house so cheap, cheaper than the $10,000. Oh my gosh, I meant to say $10 million, not 10000 Anyways, let's get back to the video. They were originally trying to get from the auction when they were trying to sell it. And also how the person that helped the Ace family build the house and do the things because if you remember, it used to be one house and then they made it to two houses and connected it, something like that. That, that person that was doing the job overcharged the Ace family so much than what it really was worth for. So they got ripped off for $10,000 when it could have been less because um, they had money and they didn't know. Obviously, you don't know nothing about work, construction and all of that. So... You're going to believe the person's not ripping you off when the person really did rip them off. They spent $10 million. Whoa. Because the developer just told them that it was more than I guess it was. And they just were like, oh yeah, fuck it, we'll pay. They got like basically scammed. Paid way, so they took out hard money loans to buy this house. So they're paying like way higher interest. That's pretty messed up that happened to them. But I mean, they ripped a lot of people off too. A lot of their followers, they've been ripping people off. So do I feel bad for them? I don't think so. I do gotta say, I do feel bad for the kids because if you didn't know, they are known to exploit their kids for views because people like watching them because they make these family videos. And if you really look at it, their kids are working for their money that who knows if they're even gonna get to see when they get older because their parents are just blowing their money up and they also got two bank loans with them first of all they got hard money loans two of them okay. to cover a 10 million dollar house which they those bank loans aren't the typical bank loans you go and get when you're purchasing a house they are different type of bank loans and the interest on them bank loans are crazy so they were paying so much for interest and well i can kind of see why they weren't paying their bills because they were extremely high there was so much to pay also during that podcast he mentioned how catherine could have made 60 million dollars this year from her cream products with the company she was originally working with but that now the company is suing her because she decided to take it into her hands and change all the accounts they had together and not giving the company access to those accounts. And now the company is suing her for doing that, pretty much kicking them out out of the company when they were supposed to be partners. So she was set up to literally make millions. Like, I mean, they were going to do $60 million in sales and she owns 65% of the company. Like she was going to take home like tens of millions of dollars, right? And 
for some reason, I guess, gets in a disagreement or something, tries to take over the business, and now they've uh, dissolved it, and she's getting sued by them. And, well, she decided she didn't want to share any money with this company that helped her create the creams and make the creams and everything, and it also could have helped her make $60 million. She didn't want to share not even a tiny bit of her money with this company. She was greedy, and look where greed is taking her, guys. Like, as you know, now she's flooded with lawsuits with hundreds of dollars, and who knows if they have money for all these lawsuits not only from austin's boxing match but but from her creams and now they lost their home they really have been through a lot in just one year this all happened this year they had a lot and well i only feel bad for the kids guys and yeah I don't know if the Ace family's ever going to explain this whole house situation and their whole lawsuits they are going through and just give their followers an update of all the drama we've been seeing on the internet about them because I do feel like they do owe it to their followers and explain to them what's going on but who knows if they will ever do that. But. We're going to close out the video right here. This will be the end of the video. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. As always, I appreciate you so much. And if you're new to my channel, I hope you subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you guys back on my next video. Bye.